Oh yeah, that's real attractive. That's oh, some. Oh yeah, baby, look at all those cowlicks. That's some wake up and go kind of hair. So good morning, yeah. YouTube. <laughs> good morning. This one here wakes up, beautiful hair, looks like a freaking Jeez. princess. You want to start our video off? Hey, I had something else to say. Give me a second. I gotta prepare. Get it together. <laughs> hey, everybody! It's Corey Miller with Ash. Which? Hang on, let me start it. That's definitely going the video. Take two. Hey, everybody! It's Corey Miller with Corey Farms. It's Corey Farms, not Ashley Farms. That's what all my fans say. Everybody at Nobby agreed that it should just be called Corey Farms. And I disagree. She she the boss. Ashley's got me up at the um, butt crack of dawn again doing bees. Which we know I love. We're running a little bit behind. We've gotten through a number of our yards. We're down to six. Six yards left. We're going to knock all those out today and um, get them fed and get a pollen patty on. Get them rearing some brood. Maples are looking bloom-ish. See this one here behind me. It's a red maple in my yard. It's not quite popped out yet, but I mean, we're, it's basically there. In the next week, it'll be in full flow. The bees have been working it in the late afternoons. It just so happened that our state inspector was not doing anything this morning, so he's gonna meet us for our annual inspection. Um, for those of you who who don't know if you sell nukes or you sell queens or sell packages, you have to get inspected by the state, at least in North Carolina is how it works. Uh, once a year they come in, they're just looking for um, any diseases present, the things that they don't wanna spread. So if there was a red flag, then um, Don's gonna let us know about it and we'll see you out in the bee yard. Hey Ashley, what was it that you just told me about being kidnapped. I said if Corey was ever kidnapped, they would just bring her right back. Like they put up with her for maybe an hour or two, and then they'd be like, nah, somebody else done locked it down. That's his problem. <laughs> like So So I told him that he better pray that I'm never actually kidnapped. Because then what if I don't get what if they don't bring me back? Like, what if they just decide to keep me? And then he'll feel really bad. So, this is a shout out to all of our viewers to say that if anybody wants to come kidnap me <laughs> and keep me, you have to you have to be signing up to keep me, though. Like, if you want to come kidnap me and keep me and save me from this, this, then please come get me. Please come get me. I'll give him an introduction. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna brave it and be like, Don, so hey everybody at home. <laughs> uh, this is Don Hopkins. This is our North Carolina State Chief Apiarist. And uh, for our region, um, we have six regions in North Carolina and uh, he's also our regional inspector. So tell, oh, wow. tell, so tell the viewers, what are we, what, what's the goal of uh, um, getting an annual inspection to assure that the bees are relatively healthy and particularly uh, from some of the more insidious diseases like like uh, American fowl brood um, you know certainly varroa mites are ubiquitous so we're gonna find the effect or perhaps you know the, the uh, you can get evidence it. of varroa so we do need to be aware of that but we also want to make sure that it if a colony is a dead out that it isn't from something else so we got a, a fairly healthy cluster here I'm going to pull one of those frames out just so that I can kind of file across here So in North Carolina, we were discussing before, but if you plan to sell nukes, queens, or packages, you mm -hmm. must have an apiary inspection. 
Um, anybody who is selling more than 10 or more colonies or units, you know, that would be packages or nukes or whatever, um, we have what we call a permit to sell. And that essentially is to uh, protect the consumer, the, the uh, person who is buying the bees, that they have at least been looked at for brood disease. Um, we, we'll oftentimes have in the comments section, um, you know, if, if there's something unusual, we'll, we'll make note of it. But again, if, if, if we were to come across American fowl brood, we wouldn't, we wouldn't want anybody to sell it. In fact, we would, you know, that would be a, a, a situation where the beekeeper would certainly want to do something about that in his yard, which would go up to and include, you know, depopulating the colony and, and either burning or up until recently we had the fumigation chamber that we could use. Oh, really? Okay. Because that, again, that bacteria is so durable, I guess would be the best way to describe it, that it, it can survive for probably ever. Isn't it something like 75 years? Yeah. Yeah. They have had, that, that's been documented. Okay. They've, they've had it, you know, at the Beltsville Bee Lab, they've had samples. They've inserted it into a healthy colony and the colony breaks down to, well, to the disease. So what we're looking for is evidence of that along with anything else that's a malady. Okay. But not seeing any, we're going to move right along. Yeah. If, 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 if someone sees on, on, on lines, you know, used equipment mm -hmm. and, and they say, oh, I can, I can put these in that and they don't know um, the history of, of the uh, material, that can potentially be problematic. Mm -hmm. We have to concentrate on the uh, people that are selling. Right. But yeah, anybody who's got bees, don't hesitate to call if they're concerned about a, a, a problem with their bees. Our services are to anybody who is keeping bees in the state, and that, you know, from one colony to a thousand or more, you know. And you were saying the average size beekeeper yeah, may... the average beekeeper in the state of North Carolina is probably 10, 10, 10 or fewer colonies. And a, a lot of new beekeepers and a lot of uh, novice beekeepers are hesitant to give us a call, thinking, well, they must be busy with the bigger guys and I don't want to bother them. They are entitled to our services just as much as, as anybody else. You know? So, you know, they're... Yeah. they're Take advantage of our service. Yeah. Just to let you guys know, I took the attitude of I'm going to grow for a couple years. I'm not going to be selling for three years. I don't need a state inspection. There's no need to get checked on. And I continued to make and make and make. And that was a very, that's what we were talking about off camera is that was a very rookie mistake to make. There, I could have been propagating some big problems, not only for myself, but many other um, beekeepers and, I don't, and like I said the big part of this channel is just telling you my mistakes so if you're thinking about growing at a fast rate like we did make sure year by year even if you're not um, selling get inspected with your state inspectors just to make sure that you're propagating healthy bees um, it's, it's important to more than just your colonies uh, and, and you know the, the bee inspectors are fantastic they'll get together with you on a, on a day um, works out for you and them so. mm-hmm Nice heavy box. The box probably weighed 30 pounds or more.
Is there any? Oh yeah, you got. Um, let me check and see. Well, it looks to be. I don't see any brood on the lower combs. Looks like this hive, the cluster is down low. There you go. And both of these two. Okay. So they're just up gathering there's, there's food stores. The bottom, and there's enough bees up here to think that they've moved up into here. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a reasonable population down there, too. Okay. Moving up vertically. Yeah, eggs. Got eggs. Yeah, that's okay. something you might want to take a picture of. Here, I'll take it. I'll come around. I got it. Okay, okay I got it. I'm looking for mom on that. I didn't even bother to. Okay. We'll see her there. I'm not seeing mom here either. Got fresh eggs all down this side too. I would, I would love to say that my bees are so gentle that you don't need <laughs> headgear, and boy, do we have some gentle bees, but that would be a lie. <laughs> some of them are. I, I'd say they're about half and half. <laughs> um, no, I've never claimed to have the most gentle of bees. Don, do you need to look around here? You know, again, <laughs> there are small mammals that get nice too. <laughs> mm -hmm. The ones that freak me out the most are when I open a box and, and the roaches run out. I'm like, yeah, we're done here. I'm done with this box. <laughs> I've been known to sling it, actually. <laughs> I think I've gotten better about it, but. That's what we like. I'd be surprised. Queen cells clean. that are empty. <laughs> yeah. We're just practicing. Yeah. Little, <laughs> Making sure we know how to do it in case we need to. cells wouldn't be good. Not this, yeah, definitely not. Did you see uh, down at the coast, New Hanover County, guy caught a, looked to be about five or six. Oh my goodness, on day. Valentine's Day or something, yeah. wasn't it? It was that's, huge. That's the earliest one I've seen. Yeah, it's not surprising this year. I'm, I'm, I'm our state meeting. Oh, there she is, right there. Week. Yep. It's queen. Mm -hmm. It's queen. Mm -hmm. And, uh, wait, not next week, two weeks, I guess. And I remember last year, people were getting calls from home. <laughs> the bees are swarming. We would just be in the yard and they'd be swarming right in front of us. We had uh, four last right year where we were filming a video and they swarmed, <laughs> like right, right there in front of us. How early was it? Oh, uh, normal. Yeah. N not super early. We were just getting to making splits and they were nice and packed out. And... Yeah. 
be good. Don, I wouldn't advertise this, but this colony here was one of our highest scoring breeder queens last year and so I took her off site and this is one of her garage and one of her daughters so it'll be interesting to see what we find. I'm gonna test this colony again this year just to see if her so, if her daughter stuck. You let her, them raise one or, or yeah I just let them raise one. Uh -huh. There's the roach that you were the, talking about. The, what was that? Oh, roaches uh, uh. <laughs> the uh, the big advantage we have out here is see they can plant something every week all year long here yep they have uh, 52 acres of agriculture and it's all market garden stuff I want to say they raise about 40 different crops so I found that this and one of our other sites um, where there's a it's commercial agriculture that constant influx of pollen all season. These these two yards just do light years better than the rest. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. yeah. The other side was the same. Again, if you see a a cell that's you know depressed or, or mm -hmm. open. look at the other side of that uh, it's a yeah. full sheet depressed or open that means that they've uncapped it and have recapped it is that right it, most likely but it could be you know again th those are the ones that we look for for evidence of okay what did happen mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, well I get you know you, you're talking a lot about the hygienic behavior I mean it was right. first first um, I guess it was Dr. Rothenbuehler, really, that sort of came up with the thought about you know, not specific hygienicity, but hygienicity in a general sense. Uh, Look at this, where she started laying out here. You yeah. see that? Yeah. So she's like, it's like she went back and added in a round two, a little bigger, expanding the brood nest. Corey always asks, like, how do I keep up with all this? It's always in my head. And I'm like, I don't know. I can just tell you certain, col I can just tell you certain specifics about certain colonies in every yard. This one, and was, I can't, this yeah. one was grumpy. This one was good. This one produced a lot of honey. Um, so this colony here, Don, was a June requeen. And I, for a bit, it lagged as a, um, as a new. And they might be in the top box. Um, Anyhow, uh, they they boomed. Something kicked in in August, and it went from like a nuke to a dang full box of bees in a matter of months. What do you think? Like, just add in a, a quarter inch, so that'll give it eighth on either side. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Didn't take much, but just enough to. Babe, I'm gonna give this to you for a second. I gotta get my hair out of my face. Show us your hair. And that's not the it's like a, very manageable. See all the static in it? <laughs> oh my goodness. What? It's like Oh. I'm gonna have to go get a head. Now. Okay. Is she in there? <laughs> no, she's her hair static in her hair is. My hair is all over my face because I think it's a no. Hey Don, if you don't, I tell you what, while we're while we're just here real fast, if you don't mind, and um, we'll wrap up a video, would you grab just this empty frame here and just maybe tell us about the scale and this and that? I don't want to oh. 
catch that on video if you don't mind. Yeah. Got some yeah. Um, again, when you're looking for AFB residue scale, um, it'll be uh, where our sun is coming from, sort of over this way, and I'm, I'm kind of looking. So you're for, looking down at this angle. Or anything that might be in that bottom two cell walls of the six cell, six sided six walls <laughs> um, if there's something laying in the bottom of it that would be evidence of scale this okay is, you know, and now. as you were telling me earlier this the scale that we'd be looking for is the actual larvae that has it's, decayed it's just dried up american foul brood the characteristics of it the physical characteristics you've probably heard of the people talking about the glue pot odor Okay. It has a very gluey odor, and its consistency in the vegetative stage, you can take a toothpick and probe that, and, it, and it's like mucilage, like glue. Mm -hmm. And again, the characteristics go a step further. They, they actually dehydrate, like glue does, and adhere to those bottom two cell walls. Okay. So it, it's, it's got those... So it doesn't necessarily smell, I just always assumed it would smell like rotten or foul. It's, it's got but a distinct, a distinct like, odor. Um, okay. If you ever uh, come across a, an old time cabinet maker or, or a carpenter mm -hmm. that uses that, that uh, hide glue, mm -hmm. the animal hide glue, that's about as close an odor to what the foul brood odor is okay and just asking so time of year right now is mid-february just after valentine's day so mm -hmm. as people are going through their colonies if they were to notice it was a, a dead out presumably is that right mm -hmm. and then they were to smell that smell that would indicate them hey definitely want to call the yeah, state inspector be, yeah now okay in the fall <laughs> one of the other odors that frequently gets confused with with afb is when the goldenrod and the aster come in. <laughs> get, what is that odor? And it's, it's different. Sixth grade locker yeah. room. Yeah, like uh, a seventh. Year old boys yeah, yeah, like yeah. a like a thirteen year old's pair of football socks. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, okay. and people get all kind of worried that is this what that foul brood is? Yeah. And it isn't. Okay. But, but it's. When did you become a state inspector? How, how long? Yeah, how long have you been state inspector for the state? Uh, I started part-time in 89. Wow. So there's part-time in 89. He's seen a frame or two. Just, <laughs> um, yeah, just a few. I always uh, am very thankful for somebody else with a better eye than myself. And uh, Don is definitely that person. So thank you from us to you for coming out. And thank you guys for watching at home. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Oh, yeah. Hang on. We got to.